Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. Today we will talk about radial wave function and radial probability functions. In my previous video, I shared with you Schrodinger wave equation. The solution of Schrodinger wave equation gives us two things. Number one, values of psi means wave function. Number two, E means energy. Now psi that is a wave function it can be separated into two parts radial wave function and angular wave function. Radial wave function only depends on the distance whereas angular wave function depends upon two quantum numbers L and M means azimuthal quantum number and the magnetic quantum number. So psi can be rewritten as the product of radial part and the angular part. Radial part only depends on R and the angular part it depends on two things. One is L, another is M. Let us now start radial wave functions. So what are radial wave functions? Simply the, it is a graph between the radial wave function and the distance. Means radial wave function only depend upon the distance. Now see when we want to determine the position of an electron we can determine its distance from the nucleus as well as at which angle that electron is present. When we only talk about the distance from the nucleus, that means we talk about radial wave function. But when we look at the angle at which electron is revolving, then we talk about the angular wave function. So radial wave functions only depend upon the value of R, that is distance from the nucleus. Now radial wave function graphs can be plotted for 1s, 2s, 2p and for all the various orbitals. So let us start the discussion for 1s. In case of 1s, if we draw the graph for radial wave function versus distance r, then we get a curve. This curve simply shows that when the distance is less, the radius that means the radial wave function is maximum. But as the distance increases, the radial wave function for 1s electron decreases. Now in case of 2s, the graph is little bit different. In that case, the graph shows that as the distance is less, the radial wave function is maximum. As the distance starts de increasing, then the radial wave function starts decreasing. But a stage comes when it crosses zero, means from the positive wave function it becomes negative wave function. That point is called a node. What is a node? Node is simply the region where the probability of finding an electron is zero. That is called a node. So that means when the graph, it is a point when, where the graph passes from positive towards the negative wave function. Similarly, we can plot the graph for 3s. Like in the picture, the 3s graph is represented by the blue color. So here in this picture, I have plotted the radial wave function graphs for 1s, for 2s, for 2p, for 3s, 3p, 3d. So we can easily find out the difference and what is that difference? The difference simply states that as we are proceeding from 1s to 2s, the number of node has been increased. There was no node in 1s but there is one node in 2s. Similarly, in 2p orbital there is no node but in 3p orbital there is one node because we can see in 3p the graph shifts from positive wave function towards the negative wave function. Now next is radial probability density. Radial probability density means R square. 
radial probability density so square of the radial wave function is called radial probability density simply r square so r square gives the probable density of finding the electron at a particular point along the radius line means here we will be plotting graph for psi square or simply r square versus r so for one is the graph is almost similar to capital r versus r means radial wave function graph there is hardly any difference but definitely there is a difference for 2s in case of 2s when we plot radial wave function graph we saw that there is a point where the graph shifts from positive wave function to the negative wave function now psi is not very significant so that's why we have taken psi square and square of negative is also positive so that's why the graph is shifted from the negative point a uh, negative part towards the positive part that means in case of psi square first of all as the distance was less psi square was maximum as the distance starts increasing psi square starts decreasing a stage comes when psi square becomes zero so that is referring to the node again when r starts increasing psi square starts increasing again it maximum and again it starts approaching nearly zero now coming to the third types of graphs radial probability distribution function graphs or simply radial probability functions graph now see these are the when we plot r square versus r or psi square versus r we have drawn the probable electron density around the nucleus now if we want to find out the density the probability of finding the electron in infinitesimally small region that is in dr then the volume of that region has to be considered so the product of the probable electron density and the corresponding volume of the space is called the radial probability function means when we want to plot or we want to calculate radial probability we need to multiply r square that is radial probability density with the volume of spherical shell so that is r square into dv now radial probability is the probability of finding the electron in a radial shell so radial shell let us say we have two shells the first shell is having radius r and the second shell is having radius r plus dr and i want to find out the radial probability function in the region dr which is a very very small region so definitely i have to calculate the volume of this spherical shell of dr thickness so for that we have to simply use the mathematics how we have to calculate the volume of outer sphere minus inner sphere so outer sphere has got the radius r plus dr inner sphere has got the radius r that means we'll be calculating the volume of outer sphere minus inner sphere that will gives us the volume of the shaded portion or simply this region having thickness dr so for that we will use mathematics 4 upon 3 pi r plus dr cube minus 4 by 3 pi r cube using the formula a plus b whole cube that is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square using this formula we will expand 4 upon 3 by r plus dr whole cube now see dr is a very small element very small thickness so dr square of dr will be still smaller and cube of dr will further become smaller so that means we can ignore the dr square terms and dr cube terms in this formula so when we will be neglecting dr square and dr cube terms we will be left with 4 upon 3 pi 
multiply by 3 r square dr that is 4 pi r square dr so this gives us the small thickness or volume of the small thickness dr so this we can call dv so we have to just multiply r square with this much volume so as to calculate the radial distribution function which comes out to be 4 pi r square capital r square along the radius r multiply by dr so these are the graphs for 1s 2s and 2p these are called radial probabilities distribution functions or simply radial probability distribution graphs for 1s 2s and 2p respectively let us discuss them one by one first of all for 1s 1s simply shows that when we plot 4 pi r square r square along r we observe that as the distance increases radial probability distribution increases it becomes maximum and then again it starts decreasing but remember it will never become zero never become zero that means there is always some probability of finding the electron even at infinite distance apart so the maxima corresponding to this graph it will appear at 53 picometers or simply 0 0.529 angstrom what is that this is the radius of Bohr's first orbit 0 0.529 angstrom coming to now 2s for 2s there are two peaks one is the smaller peak another one is the larger peak smaller and the larger peak for 2s that means in 2s there is one node a node is a point where the probability of finding electron is zero so we are getting two peaks one maxima at the shorter distance another maxima at the larger distance the maxima at the shorter distance comes out at 0 0.8 a naught what is a naught it is the distance or better to say it is the Bohr's first orbit radius first orbit radius whose value is 0 0.529 angstrom where the second maxima comes at 5 a naught means we have to multiply 5 with a naught what is a naught again 0 0.529 angstrom so that means this value will come out at 270 picometers coming to now 2p for 2p the maxima comes at 2.1 angstrom distance that is this maxima will be appearing at a distance shorter than for 2s at 2s we were getting the maxima at 270 picometers whereas for 2p we are getting this maxima at 210 picometers 210 picometers means 2.1 angstrom so we, from the comparison we can conclude that the radial probability distribution curve for 2s electron shows two maxima smaller one and a bigger one in between two maxima there is one minima called nodal point where the probability of finding electron is almost zero number two radius of maximum probability for 2s and 2p electron orbitals are more as compared to 1s electron orbital number three although the radius of maximum probability for 2p electron is slightly lesser than 2s electron but because of the presence of small additional maxima 2s electron spends more time near the nucleus than 2p electron and why we place 2p after 2s because 2p is higher in energy than 2s so that's why we place 2p after 2s so in the next slide we have the comparison of all the graphs here in this graph we are representing the radial wave function radial probability functions as well.
सो आर वर्सेज आर आर स्क्वायर वर्सेज आर ग्राफ एंड रेडियल प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन ग्राफ ऑल्सो फॉर वन एस टू एस एंड फॉर टू पी